Experts from all over the world believe that a catastrophic explosion caused the Titan submarine to sink. As a result, something inside the Titan submarine caused it to stop functioning and become so badly damaged that it sank close to the Titanic. In reality, catastrophic implosion is a process that occurs when a submarine's interior is under so much pressure that it sustains severe damage before ceasing to function. A study claims that such a circumstance occurs when there is too much pressure in a small area and if the submarine is not equipped to handle that pressure, an internal explosion results in the submarine collapsing. The passengers on the submarine include Hamish Harding. Harding served as the chairman of the aviation sales and consultancy firm Action Aviation. Shahzada Dawood. Shahzada Dawood served as the vice chairman of both the investment and holdings company Dawood Hercules Corp and the Pakistani energy investment company Engro. Suleiman Dawood. Suleiman, a college student who was 19 years old, was Shahzada Dawood's son. Stockton Rush. British entrepreneur Stockton Rush established Oceangate in 2009 and served as its CEO. Paul-Henri Narjolet. Paul-Henri Narjolet served in the French Navy for 22 years, rising to the rank of commander. He was known as Mr. Titanic for his knowledge of the ship. Oceangate. Founded in 2009 by Stockton Rush and Guillermo Sonline, Oceangate is a privately held firm. It has been using leased commercial submersibles to carry paying customers off the coast of California, in the Gulf of Mexico, and in the Atlantic Ocean since 2010. Paul White, an expert in acoustics and underwater pressures at the University of Southampton in England, believes that a total of 6,000 pounds would have been exerting pressure on every square inch of the Titanic's exterior at a depth of around 12,500 feet, where the water pressure is nearly 400 times more than at the ocean's surface.